ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. These are the words that I live by every day. Uh, my name is Mustafa Moore. Um, I accepted Islam in 2004. And uh, before I was a Muslim, I used to be in the streets. Um, uh, you know, I, I was no thug or anything like that, but um, I hung out with some thugs. And, um, you know, we, we partied and, you know, unfortunately, you know, drinking and um, things like that, you know. Uh, I converted uh, by, um, what I did was uh, I, I read a little about the, the Quran. I, re I read uh, the Quran for like two or three days. And um, after that, I wanted to, to know more. Uh, so I went to the library and uh, I, I found a book about the Prophet ﷺ. And uh, in that book, uh, the Shahada was in there. And I believed in the book. I, 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 I believed in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and, and I believed in the Prophet ﷺ. So I said my Shahada and I became Muslim, but I didn't know because um, I had never seen a Muslim. I had never met a Muslim and um, I, I didn't know what you know the Muslims did or you know, I didn't know any practices of Islam or, or anything like that. A friend of mine, well this guy, he wasn't a friend, but he, he, he happened to have a Quran and um, somebody told me that he had the Quran, but they said that you know he wasn't really using it. You know he was you know doing bad things. You know so, so I, I asked him could I use it, and um, Alhamdulillah when I when I when I finally found the Quran, uh, th the Bible sets you up for for Islam because Allah says we'll we'll know that it's Him by by um, like uh, Isaac Jacob uh, uh, um, and. Um, so, so, so Alhamdulillah, uh, when I, uh, and Yaqub, uh, so these names, these names were in, in the Quran, you know, when I, when I, and Moses and, and, and Isa, you know, all of these names were in the Quran. So when I saw these names, I knew that it had to be something to it, you know. In fact, I, it's, it's hard for me to understand how uh, there's such a, uh, a discrepancy between Islam and Christianity. Uh, Islam is the natural progression of Christianity. If, if the Christians were to walk correctly, they would see that um, Islam is the next step. Uh, because uh, Jesus, alayhi salam, uh, Isa, uh, he said that there would be one after him. And he, 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 he told the people to follow him. The Quran is uh, is the key to pur purification. Living the way that the Prophet alayhi salatu salam, uh, the way that he says, the way that his, his Sahabas lived, the way that they believed, if we stick to this, we have no choice but to be pure. Be pure, you know, uh, because I mean, this is how they walked, this is how they talked, you know, um, this is how they ate, this is how they slept, just like how um, uh, in the Bible, I mean, in, in the Quran, um, I believe it was Ibrahim. Well, he said uh, something like, uh, "My life is uh, my, my life is to Allah. My, my death is to Allah. My, my eating, my sleeping." You know, he said this, and, and this is how the Prophet Allah lived, and this is how the Sahaba. Uh, this is how this is what they did. You know, I mean, they, you know, they didn't make a move without asking the Prophet Allah You know, is this halal? You know, I mean, can we do this? Uh, you know, um, do we leave this off? You know, whatever the Prophet said, this is what they did. So this is why. You know they were the strongest in the world at the time. You know because you know they were they were the cleanest, and 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 they they didn't run away from that. They ran to it. So if we if we want to be pure, if we want to be clean, we have to turn ourselves back to um, um, the way that the, the Prophet alayhi salam he lived and the way that the Sahaba lived. If we can follow this, we'll be the purest in the world. You know, we'll be the cleanest in the world.